this is Soldier Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, coming at you from the Wizard's Tower once again for another episode of Buster Recap. Here with... Licensed Hench. Hey, everybody. Yeah, that's right. We got the henchman, and we got a special guest. We finally got Stickman into the room. How you doing, man? Hey, doing all right. Um, really? Are, are, are you sure? <laughs> I think so. Okay, I'm asking because your name is Stickman, and you're a goat. I don't follow. No, you're a go okay. You're a man. Yes. Right? You're made of sticks. Sure. But I'm looking at you right now, and you're a goat. How do you mean? Okay, you've got horns, and... You lost me again. Okay, horns, a goatee, and here's the important part, not a human body made of sticks. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Okay, whatever. You know what? From this point on, you'll just be known as, as Stickman, the goat from South Park. Anyway, <laughs> how you guys doing today? We are, we've are we got some cool stuff. Today we're going to have a special unboxing of a Kickstarter thing from, what is it, Soda Pop Games. and um, Soda Pop Miniatures. Oh, Soda Pop Miniatures. That's right. So we got a special unboxing for you guys, and we're going to recap why people do Kickstarters and other than their addictive natures. And <laughs> this is going to be another really fun thing. We've been watching some more stuff on the Netflix, and I want to talk a little bit about magicians. But if you want to tell us what to talk about maybe next week, you can feel free to hit us up at backinthedeck at gmail.com. You can also join the group Deckers on the Book on the Facebooks. It's an open group where you can talk to us, the Stickman, the Henchman, um, DW, even the Captain Corporal Steve, and possibly the Duggernaut if I can get him on there too. Or you guys can talk to each other because if you guys want to come to a consensus of how we're full of shit and I look funny, that is where to do it. However, if that's not your bag because you stay the fuck off Facebook, then you can hit us up on the Twitter. Just look for Twitter hashtag BidP or Twitter hashtag back in the deck. Now, if you want to talk to us individually, because I want to see your faces, I want to know what you look like, just to make sure that you are prettier than me, because that's what I think. I think that you're prettier than me, and I need you to back it. Hit us up on the Instagram at Instagram slash BidP. So that's the Instagram, that's the Facebooks. That is. <laughs> Oh, me running out of breath. Shut up. I know I smoke. I don't care. However, that's the Facebook, the Instagrams, the Twitters. And finally, you can hit us up on the SoundCloud. Now, SoundCloud is special because you can download the audio of everything we do for free. So you can listen to it if you're in traffic, if you're in the toilet for a certain amount of time, or if you just don't like looking at people's faces through your phones or your iWatch, because we are in the Dick Tracy future, I guess. You can always download us, put us on your phone, and listen to us while you're in places like the gym so that you can laugh while you're in the elliptical. Or if I know you and you know who I'm talking to, you're listening to us at work right now. So hit us up at back in the deck um look for us on soundcloud and honestly if we get enough with you guys then that'll be some really cool stuff we'll get the partnership and we'll be able to push out a lot better content so where do we want to start today my henchman well i think we should start with uh stickman's uh, new unboxing oh stickman uh, yes. yeah you got a new toy the today crowdfunding addiction uh yeah. yes so um yeah, let's see. I would say, like, tell the crowd about you, but I don't want them knowing who you are because all of your drops of wisdom and witty one-liners, I want for this company. <laughs> it works better if I'm a mysterious shadow. But you're not a shadow. You're a goat. Not with you there. What's going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. All right. But, yes, uh, Rail Raiders and Infinite by Soda Pop Miniatures or Ninja Division. I'm not sure what they go by from week to week. Okay. But they make really cool miniatures, and this is Chibi Train Robbery in space. <laughs> Sorry, you said it the incorrect way. If the Viking were here, he'd say Chibi Train Robbery, or he'd say Chibi Train Robbery in space. You have to get the other Ys. The Ys are important. I lack his rhythmic lyricisms. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You're killing my merchandising. Go on. But, uh... It has a lot of figures, which is always a draw for me because I like figures. I like miniatures. I like models. I like stuff I can put up on a shelf. If I decide the game is no good, I'll just put them up on a shelf and they'll look cool. They'll yeah. say, don't those look cool? Yeah, what are they for? 
Never Shut mind. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. The game is not playable. Yeah, we always need more stuff to dust, which is always a bad, which is a bad part of being a gamer with miniatures. Is eventually you got the coolest looking toys in the world that you've forgotten how to play with. <laughs> um, speaking <laughs> of coolest looking things in the world, so I went down to your uh, workshop, Mister Henchman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do you plan on getting visited by Tom Hanks and turning him into a kid, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're talking about my little fortune teller. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I saw that thing and I was like, yeah, that I need him. Now, I got to say, yeah. as a sorcerer with you as my prime henchman, the fact that you have like a swami in a box that you drink to and like uh, give him orders for, it's kind of like seeing kids walk around in your shoes. It's kind of yeah. chilling. For for the people's, people at home who might not know what we're talking about, I have a little, a little tiki bar that i moved into my living room and this year on halloween i picked up the skeleton fortune teller in the box who who uh it's basically a magic eight ball it's it, it <laughs> a magic eight ball look, looks the size dim. of a closet yeah so i have him set up on the tiki bar so he is the full height of the zoltan vending machine so when you walk into my house that's the first thing you see and uh i'm, I'm just liking the aesthetic of being there and i'm I'm planning on adding a few more uh, spooky elements to the house. I've decided to kind of go the full Haunted Mansion decor and just... Okay, but if I see one black dude in wizard's robes hanging from your ash tree, <laughs> um, we gonna have a talk. You can crucify I... him all you want. You just don't ever hang an effigy of a black dude. Okay, <laughs> that, that, That's where the mummy goes. Oh, fair. But wait, mummies are Egyptian. <laughs> and Egyptians in Africa... Yo. So I'm just no, I'm I'm just messing with. Hey, you. look, a topic change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, I'm a little over the moon because I've been trying to get Stickman in the studio for as long as I've been building it, and he's like, "All right, you can get me in the studio as long as you cast a spell and make it so that I look special and all that stuff." So I'm like, "Fine." I cast a spell to get him here, and sure as shit. He's here, although you're a goat. <laughs> Not getting that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, some of the stuff I wanted to start off with in the beginning of this, because um, like I said, we got a whole bunch of stuff, and Stickman and the Henchmen are two of the people that we like to watch a lot of movies that we would never recommend to anybody sober. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> One of these days, we'll have to do the uh, the worst movie we ever saw story. <laughs> uh, that's the thing; it changes for me every year. Because, like, when I was oh, in oh Florida, no, we found rock we found bottom. We, we found it. <laughs> okay, is this going to make me melt down and just like curl into a ball in the same way when I was watching on um, Black oh, God. at your house? We destroyed the Viking with it. Yes. Okay, but, you know, this is the Viking, so if it isn't fantasy or anime, he's pretty okay. brittle. Okay, just a little bit of backstory. Uh, the Stickman and I were roommates, and um, he had gotten, uh, he was very excited about a disc we got on uh, from uh, Netflix. Way because, back in the days yeah, back when people day. got so the disc DVDs came in, from Netflix. And, uh, he had been very excited about it because it was the movie, quote, that iRobot should have been. I believe you even went to the IDBM page to look up more info about info about it, and it that did would be have a good IMDb. review. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, it it had a good review, which should have been a warning. <laughs> <laughs> so we get this movie, we pop it in. Um. Okay, I I, I lack the words to explain it. It is a movie set in a future where a robot exterminator goes crazy and starts killing humans. Okay. We, we are told it is killing humans. As near as I can tell, it is stabbing bloody wigs while <laughs> topless porn star screams somewhere else. Oh, see, when the you, when you said topless porn star screaming, I'm like, and? But no, no they're no. screaming off camera while you're looking. No, at... no, no. They're on camera. It just does not appear to be in the same room, world, or universe as said murderous exterminator robot. Dude, it, I, gr I grew up on freaking hair band videos. I don't care if the topless models are in the same place oh, as the band. Oh, no, 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 no. It, 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 
It's a unique f- kind of horror. Uh, <laughs> it starts out with some kind of B-roll mm-hmm. of a uh, porn star, usually she's naked, on a set, which is someone's house. Mm-hmm. And it, it, just by the look of it, you, you get the impression that, like, okay, this we're doing this between takes. And she's acting scared. You can almost hear someone off camera going, you hear a sound. What is it? Where is it coming from? Is it behind the door? No. Oh, and then close up to her screaming and then cut to a balloon filled with some kind of goo, wearing okay. a wig, being stabbed by a guy a in front of a wall. Does not always seem to match alleged murder victims in the <laughs> yes. movie. Oh, that is kind of awesome, actually. And then it cuts to the You puppets. say that now. <laughs> Wait, I, puppets? I think in a future <laughs> review or a future, what show are we on? <laughs> this is Buster Recap. Yeah. Buster Recap, you will have to inflict this movie on him. And have him discuss no. his feelings after seeing it. <laughs> so it cuts to the robot. Hang on. Um, leave comments below if that sounds like a good, or at least let me know if you guys want the to The movie, in case any of you have accidentally seen it, is called Exterminator City. <laughs> oh, I saw something like that on Good Bad Flakes. If, if you think that our, our cinematic sorcerer should be exposed to this, please upvote, the, upvote this video on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, we'll just just bring the pain. (laughs) So it cuts to the it cuts to the puppets, which are shot in someone's basement up against the blank wall, and one person actuating both puppets and doing both voices. They are skeleton puppets, uh, spray painted silver, and they are robots. One I think was made out of toy guns. Yes. (laughs) So it's the two cops and the exterminator bot, and uh. It it just continues along with some dialogue delivered flat. Okay. Uh, back and forth, person talking to themselves. And the whole time, you just can't look away. I mean, you would think, of, oh, this is bad. I'm going to turn it off. No, there's, there's something bizarrely compelling about this. And you just keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. And we hit a point where then it would cut back to another scene with a porn star. And after the third or fourth murder, we started to cringe because... <laughs> I, he ruined boobies. Boobies meant the pain was coming. <laughs> it was that bad. Gotcha. Uh-huh. So every time you saw a naked breast, that meant there was more bad acting it was on its way. Very wedding. bad coming up next. So it's like every porn I've ever watched. Bad except acting for does Batman. not describe this. It's think of porn acting. Okay. Roll it through your head, and know that that would be a refreshing eye cleanse after this. <laughs> yes. I, if I, you edited. Debbie does Dallas to just the acting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we got a picture of one of the robots covered in toy guns. Yes. Okay, so what I have to say to that, that is... That picture is actually better production quality than the film itself. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, uh, I will let you believe the picture. I will let the picture <laughs> lull you into a false sense of <laughs> yes. safety until you see the film. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's fair. And, of course, it did give us a few lines which have stuck with us for life. I'll be um, doing what I always do, grinding steel. <laughs> that that and I am the alpha. I am the omega. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm hearing is you guys decided to go down to the Stickman Palace and watch porn, and you're trying to make it sound like you did something else. No, no, no. We didn't know there was <laughs> porn involved at all. In fact, when the porn came out, like, okay, this isn't what we expected, and then it just went sideways. We watched the whole thing. Including the cutscenes of the art of the car being held by wires being flown in back and forth like this in front of a cityscape cardboard cutout. Oh, uh, no, we spared no expense. So People. it was the Terminator as written by a high school kid um, and directed by Ed Wood's um, rotting corpse is what you're saying. People may be embarrassed watching porn. I am ashamed of having watched this movie. <laughs> there is a subtle but important difference. Yes, but that's not the best part. We we watched all of it, which again we we couldn't not we couldn't look away, and we both were like, "Wow, that is that is quite hands down the worst movie we've seen all the way through." Okay. And then we told the Viking about this, 
And the Viking's like, I have seen some bad, bad films. No way is this worse. We're challenge accepted. And we gleefully and maliciously slammed the DVD back down there and watched the whole goddamn thing a second time. Wow. All the while watching the Viking's face as he's like, Reacting in the same or by fascination we did. I'm, I'm afraid the third time we're going to have to lock you in the isolation booth and just watch a time lapse of your reaction because I don't think I can do it a third time. <laughs> All right, that's fair. So, in other words, if you guys are actually looking for something to actually watch and enjoy, we would have to give Exterminator, uh, Exterminator City, I think it is? Exterminator... What was it called? Exterminator City. Yeah, Exterminator City. Yeah, that is a solid pair. A solid pair. That it's is not drawn to an inside straight <laughs> and going all in. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I was yep. actually going to give it the uh, instruction card. Oh, geez. Okay, so like, what you guys it's are It's not saying... even on. It has, it's, it's in a category by itself. It's not even on the scale. The only reason why you would look at it is because, wow, this is different. Okay, so Henchman gives it a fold, and the stick man <laughs> gives it a walk away from the table. Yeah. Again, that, that, that would be a fold. All right, well, you know what? Challenge accepted. I will watch this thing because I have, under the Henchman's advisement, ladies and gentlemen, I have started watching what I was surprised to find out was a sci-fi original series. Now, if you guys are as old as we are, or you have <laughs> friends that are as old as we are, sci-fi original is euphemism for if this got funded, there's no excuse for you. Um, and I'm talking about The Magicians. Okay, The Magicians. I'm uh, Magician season one has got to be the trickiest TV show I've ever seen in my life. And I know, I know, I know. Magicians, tricky. <laughs> no, no, no. Screw that. Because... I was really waiting for it to get interesting, but for some reason, I guess there's like a subliminal message that makes me keep pushing next episode, <laughs> you know, because I'm going, okay, okay, and then like my girlfriend, The Hobbit, will come in, and she's like, okay, so I didn't see like the last two episodes, what happened? And I'm like, oh, well, this person did this, and this person did this, and 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 she's like, I don't know who any of these people are, and I'm like, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't know who these people are. You get weirdly you know. invested in it. Yeah, but and it's weird because I'm weirdly invested in the story, although all of the characters are so sexually attracted to my closed fist. I mean, I just want to punch all of them in the mouth, including the pretty bookish girl who has the largest bust size I've seen on TV in years. And I actually like the lovable bitch, mm -hmm. um, the Latina snobby girl. She's actually pretty cool, only because it's very rare. It hasn't been since Cordelia in Buffy the Vampire Slayer mm -hmm. since yeah. I've seen a chick that's so mean, so right, and so unrepentant. Yeah. And that is, that is actually like very cool. The closest thing that she gives to a compliment is not insulting. So that that's a big thing, um, but I love the staff, the dean and the um, the Russian teacher. <laughs> the Russian teacher, I love to death. I really do. I'm like, yeah, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. You know, I'm at the part of the part of the show where he's Mr. Miyagiing, the only student I appreciate. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I like the idea of like the teacher is walking by and we see the meet cute, we see the budding love. And he looks at the two budding love students and he, well, first thing he does is the good old Professor Snape, which is what I like. Um, and he's like, okay, so this is the spell. Yeah, it's to drive a nail into a piece of wood straight. And one of the guys starts doing it and he casts a spell to shut all of his students up. No one else can talk. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the spell that every single teacher wants in every class. I don't care what grade level, college, elementary school, whatever. If you can just wipe your hands and make somebody shut the hell up and you're a teacher, that's the thing worth selling the soul for. But when the teacher walks by going, okay, are you two going to fuck already? No? Then get back to work! You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate that thing. So the Narnia aspect I'm getting a little tired of and I'm hoping to see more gods. Um, but all you in will. all. 
Okay. Uh, but all in all. Hey, and as we've learned so far, when the gods show up, it's not good. No. It's no. never good. No, they're jerks. They're really, <laughs> really jerks. Um, um, I'm hoping for a little more altruism, though. I, I really am. I just I need a little bit of brightness while I'm waiting for the flash to come off of break. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. But um, all in all, um, but since we're coming to the end of this segment and not too long, um, Stickman, what have you been watching? Oh, wow. Uh, the Marvelous Miss Maisel. What? The, it is a, I'm going to say Is your goat sitcom? tongue being all weird? Don't the ask Marvel me to pronounce did, things. Did, did. Pronunciation <laughs> is not my purview. Uh, but alliteration evidently must be. The Marvelous Miss Maisel is on Amazon. It is about a woman whose husband leaves her, so she becomes a stand-up comedian. Oh. Better okay. than it sounds. Uh, a lot of your favorite little character actors show up in it. Okay. Including... That one guy? I was going to say Lois from The Family Guy. Oh, who I know you're a big fan yeah. of. yeah. Alex Bornstein. But the writing on it is very, very tight, which I like. And despite the fact that it is really, honestly, just a well-done sitcom, they actually spend some time on camera work, which is nice. Okay. Well, awesome. All right. Well, since we're running out of time in this segment, um, in case you're not here after we get done with the unboxing, I want to thank you for coming by, man, because I know you got to get back to all of your sticky stuff. But, you know. That, that doesn't oh. sound right. That's, no. Well, he's a stick. It's gooey well, better <laughs> <laughs> just uh do us a favor and check the mirror on your way out if you gotta go because you know maybe you'll <laughs> understand what happens so fine, fine you say that what i picture in my mind is is uh john lithgow from third third rock on every looking mirror good lord i'm gorgeous <laughs> fair enough um so let's get around to this unboxing all right all right let's take a look here <laughs> 